Up on the bench at the moment is a Kajiva Freccia. And this is one of several I acquired uh, a number of years ago when I had a couple of Marini darts um, in my collection. The dart is based on the running gear and much of the bodywork of the Freccia. Um, after Kajiva purchased Marini, they were required uh, by the Italian government to produce a new model, having had some assistance in the purchase of the company. So they took the water-cooled 125 two-stroke out and shoehorned in the 350 air-cooled V-twin. And it actually makes for uh, a pretty good bike. Now the Dart is based on the C9 Freccia bodywork. Uh, this is a C12. The rear panels are much the same um, apart from the stepped seat um, and the tank cover slightly different. The front panels um, are restyled on the C12. Uh, it has a twin headlamp set up. It had integral mirrors. Uh, which are very, very close, but not completely identical to Ducati Passo, um, which has made getting mirrors for these somewhat difficult. But in any case, uh, the reason this is on the bench is a number of years ago, I built an electric motorcycle out of a set of Freccia running gear, and I thought it was time I did so again. So I'll take the um, couple of the panels off that are just propped on and we'll have a look at some of the uh, design thoughts I've been having. Okay, you can see here that um, the original um, engine mounting tubes have been cut back. These brackets will probably go entirely. In fact, they almost certainly will. Uh, I just started playing around with the uh, position of the jack shaft. We're going to have a two stage reduction and this is the motor uh, that will be used and this is uh, an Agni motor. Now the motor was originally designed by Cedric Lynch um, and has been through a number of manufacturers and names uh, but this one is in fact a bit of a rarity. It's a 103R, which is a number of experimental uh, motors built, um, trying out different numbers of strips, uh, making up the, the windings in the armature. I haven't got a motor apart conveniently. Oh no, yes I have. I can show you on this. This is a Briggs & Stratton E-Tech which was a licensed copy um, of the motor and if I zoom in that's the side of the commutator but those are actually also the side of the winding um, the strips that were used to make the motor so although this motor is different in almost every detail. The basic construction is the same. We're obviously looking at the uh, the other side here. So this motor weighs about 11 kilograms. So it's uh, not the easiest thing to hold in position whilst we're trying to work out where things can go. Um, so to that end, I've done some CAD, and there is a model online of this motor you can download as a I think it's a step file, but I went old school and cardboard aided design. So there's my rep dimensionally representational model, and we can slot it into place just about. Now you'll notice there's a number of, of holes here um, and that's because I was trying out um, some different ideas of motor positioning. Now using the upper holes um, I was considering doing what I did the last time I did a Freccia um, actually with one of the E-Tech motors 
which was to have the motor up high. Um, actually in one of these higher positions so it ended up more or less here. Uh, that worked really quite well with the lead acid batteries I was using at the time and they would have been Optimus. Uh, these are the, just the starter variety but uh, I was using the deep cycle version but otherwise uh, physically identical to these. Uh, those weigh about 20 kilos each and so it made sense for me to get one battery down here in the keel and get the motor up high because I was that was getting 10 kilos of weight lower down. Uh, however, looking at the size of a continuous space I'll end up with and the weight of a likely lithium pack, uh, mounting the motor as low down in the bodywork as possible is looking like a much more um, sensible option. So the motor will end up in roughly the position you see it now, um, although a little bit um, further forward. And then all the space above it and through the frame will be available for the battery pack. So I am now starting to uh, draw up all the shaft and motor mounting plates in Fusion 360 uh, so that I can actually uh, start making them in the metal.